What is good? See, a little different than the last one. Went metal. Went a little, little lighter on this one. You know. Nice. Yeah, keep them on their toes. They never know what's coming. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What's well, good, guys? We're back. We got a uh, five must buy, sell, hold right now. Moves to make. Five moves to make. Five <laughs> sell moves to make. <laughs> Price, Way too early. Price checks. Uh, 114.98% of your league mates, idiot league mates, will definitely make these. Yeah, this, these are the things that you need to know that they don't know. These are skyrocketing, plummeting, uh, you know, uh, updated ranking. Any of the titles yeah. that you can. I now have a full <laughs> plethora of things to name this video. In case you haven't noticed, they're pretty much all, all the, same. the same. Just stupid titles that cl people click on. So anyway, we're, we're back with you. Uh, not that you're stupid. Not yeah, not stupid that you're titles, stupid right there. You. You, you right there for the you're algorithm. Not yeah, the algorithm. The algorithm. Makers. <laughs> yeah. Um. So no, you over there in the back, you're stupid. Yeah. You right there, you're good. Yeah, you're good brother. We, uh, we got stockings rehung. Uh, they they may or may not fall. They made it. Made it through the first episode. So they made it. Hey, hit me yeah. with the timestamp if they fall. <laughs> that yeah, was the stockings. That was yeah. <laughs> shout out to whoever did that. Good job. Yeah. Um. Nico Collins dad was back in the comments. <laughs> Nico was mad. Yeah, I mean we didn't take him number one overall, so uh, uh, Nico's yeah, dad was happen. mad. DJ Moore's dad and Nico Collins dad religiously <laughs> watched this show. Yeah. So shout out to uh man, I can't remember Jeff, maybe I can't remember the name. We got FF we're yeah, we got FFD Big D in the house. We got Big D in the house over there. Big you can D's find him the on house. the Twitters at FFD Big D. Um, or at Austin Abbott FF. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, depending on the on the show title. Yeah. He's transitioning into Austin Abbott. <laughs> oh, geez. He just identifies as Austin. Okay. I don't think I can. Right. Austin's a, a handsome dude. I, 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 I know, don't right? think I, I don't think I'd get there. So someone's like, how old, old is this guy? He's he's talking about them like they're kids, but he's he's a kid. I'm like, just you're just mad he's handsome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big D, you're you're bringing up our handsome quota too. Don't don't you sell yourself short, pal. Yeah, I got the old, the old, uh, old man handsomeness going yeah. on. You know what I mean? It's just uh, we're bringing we're bringing up the kindness factor. That's, that's what yeah. what Big D brings to that's the show. Right. Um, all right, so we got five moves to make uh, right now, or really whenever you have time. Um, you know, so I think we want to start off today, and, and these are mostly just guys that that we wanted to talk about. So I think James Cook is is kind of interesting because I feel like everybody at this show at one point has been in and out and in, in way, and man. out. Um, and, you know, we've had a little bit of a change uh, and we've got Joe Brady in there now. Um, and just, you know, uh, a Dwayne McFarlane uh, tweet from I believe it was this morning. Uh, his targets per route run 31 percent since Joe Brady taken over as as O.C. Uh, so, you know, that's that's up, uh, uh, you know, a nice little chunk over 100 yards in the last four total yards over the last four games. I think when we talk about Cook. You kind of have to talk them in a total yards spectrum where because you're not getting the attempts that you want every game. And I, I don't okay. it's not that he's a bad runner. Um, you know, I'm a bad father. I think I think PF or uh, <laughs> player profiler had his yards created kind of low. So, you know, I, I guess you could see that as him not being maybe the most creative runner if it's if he's if he can't get to the second level, essentially. And I, don't, I think I don't think that, I think that's fine. Um, he's he seven. He's under expected. I think so. And in, in yards created um, or yeah, probably seventh among all running backs in from uh, or seventh among all offensive skill players from scrimmage with eleven hundred and eighty. So, you know, he's putting up good yardages. And then again, like in these last three games, 16 targets, 14 receptions, 169 uh, yards and two TDs. Um, I, I believe on the season he has. 38 receptions and 16 of them in the last three games. Uh, so, you know, and I, and I think he's, I don't have the total for his season here, but 169 in the last two, I think he only has 300 and some on the season. So since Joe Brady has taken over, it seems like it's been to get him involved in things that work for what James Cook does. 
Uh, mm -hmm. And that is, is very, very positive because I don't think anybody's ever been terribly down on James Cook, the player. It's just a situation that can be extremely frustrating because we know Josh Allen is going to take, you know, he's still a cook that is, is still not getting any too many sniffs uh, inside the five goal line work. But, you know, you saw the the zero blitz and, and Cook streaking down the uh, middle of the field there and, and a connection with him and Allen. And then, you know, you see full full drives in the second half without James Cook even on the field for multiple drives in a row and it's just like pulling your hair out you're like how is this guy not completely involved so even with Joe Brady you're still kind of frustrated a little bit with how we're being used here he's 18th in attempts with um overall and but uh 10th in yards with 789 that's rushing only one rushing TD um tied for fifth though in 10 plus in 10 uh and runs of 10 or more uh so when he's He's doing his thing. He's doing the damn thing. So I doing think that's it, doing the most it well. kind of frustrating thing with him. Obviously, he goes five for 83 and a, and a, and a touchdown uh, through the air and then 10 for 58 on the ground, averaging 5.8. So what are your general thoughts on, on Cook? Because I know you've been kind of maybe the more outspoken person on saying, hey, sell and get good value on Cook kind of while you can. So uh big deal yeah. you take this i'll i'll take it um i i think with cook um you know you laid out everything perfectly but I, but i think as brady's taken over joe brady has taken over i mean you just look at his snap percentage right his snap snap percentage is still in the 40s um or yeah. it's not still it's dropped into the 40s he's really efficient with what he's doing they're play calling him correctly but i think it's been i don't know man I, 45 45 45 bro i think brady took over in week 11 so week um, 11 46 yeah, 45, 43 45, 45, 44. 45 is what i have yeah yeah, and Sleeper says 46, 43, 44, but, you know, close, close enough. Only five three. it's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and I think that, you know, you've seen that they've tried to bring in different running backs to kind of counterbalance what, what James Cook doesn't do well. Um, so, so again, he, for me, he's kind of like um, – I, I don't want to say he's better than a Jag. Maybe he's a capital Jag, like not, not like lowercase Jag, but he's like a capital Jag, if that makes sense. Like, I, I feel like he is, in my opinion, one of those players that I could probably replace relatively easy on my roster from, from a value perspective um, late, later on, um, either in the next draft, like, like, or, um, you know, some of, some of the running backs that are coming out, I, I think I would have ahead of James Cook, regardless of where they, they land. Um, and and so for me, he's he's a piece right now with with the way that he's playing at at an elite level uh, from a production standpoint for what he's getting. I just feel like he's a sell, um, you know, uh, maybe in the comments, tell me I'm wrong. But but then look at his stats and just look, look at what they're doing there. And, you know, I, I've never really enjoyed um, the running backs around Josh Allen. Um you know, uh, and so, so, so for me, I, I just feel like there's enough value there where his, he's, 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 he's gone over onto the side where now he's a value to sell and get him off my team. If I'm a contender, I'm not selling him. I, I guess I should say that. Like, he, he's, he's obviously producing at a, at a decent enough clip as an RB two, where you know I'm going to keep him around on a contender. But if I'm kind of middling of the pack, or or even in this off season, if if he continues on at this, I, I think he's definitely a sell for me. In fact, I sell I sold him recently in a start three wide receiver. Uh, to get a deal done just because I felt like he is uh, he's one of those players, like I said, that I that he, he's not he, he's not somebody that you can just, you know, automatically replace. But I think he's replaceable. There's a difference. Right. Mm. Uh, replacing Brees Hall or replacing, you know, um, CMC is 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 extremely difficult that, you know, when, when they're they're playing at their elite level. James Cook, like I said, I think he's playing at his elite level and I think I can get. You know, I think I can get 13 points from somebody else. So, yeah. So he's he is averaging 13.7 points per game. He's RB 13 on the season. Uh, and the, but the last three weeks have been 19.2, 16 a buy, and then well, four weeks, and then 25.1. Um, so, like you said, he is producing elite RB one numbers right now. On, but not very many snaps. You know, right. which at, at 190 pounds, how could you how could you play that? <laughs> which many I snaps? don't care about that. How at all. could you be good at all? It has nothing to do with that, right? Pounds. I, I I don't hate the player. I think he looks pretty good when he touches mm -hmm. the ball. He's mm -hmm. finally getting some more touches, and, and he's producing with it. That being said, he is 24, and he's on the Bills. And you probably – I mean, let's be honest. You probably paid a first-round rookie pick for him. I mean, 
when it came down to it, especially if it was late, you definitely paid a first. And maybe it was an early, early second. Right. But you can finally recoup some of that value. And we've talked about rolling over players. Mm-hmm. I'm down to roll over James Cook. Let me let me try and recoup what I paid, and let's reset this clock with someone else, a newer, fresher, younger, high. Yeah, I think I'm okay if it stays at 45, and you can get you know 50, 60 yards on the ground. If we could get any some some rushing touchdowns, I think we, wheels completely up. But if you're gonna stay in that 31 percent uh, targets per route run, I think that's that's a really, 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 really good number for you. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and that's I think that's his strength too. So. I'm not really that mad at you saying, hey, the, the attempt number isn't maybe where you quite want it. Uh, if I can get him 12 to 15 attempts a game and then get him five targets a game, that, that's that's where I want him to be anyway. Um, you know, not I'm not saying he's Gibbs, but like I want him. That, that's the kind of usage I want for Gibbs as well. I think he can be efficient. He is being efficient in, in the manner that they're using him. And they have the offense to efficiently use a player like him. So, you know, I, DeAndre Swift or James Cook? Obviously, DeAndre Swift Cook. has been going down, you know, as far as where he once maybe was not midway through this season. So you, you, you're going Cook there. Yeah, I'd go Cook there. I, I think Cook has the, the, the higher floor. I know um, Tony Pollard's a good bit older, maybe two years or so, but Tony Pollard or, or Cook? I could go Cook there. I, I want to take... Uh... You Swift. Want, you want Swift? I'll, I'll yeah. tell, I'm taking Cook. I think still over Swift. Give me Swift. I'll take I'll take Cook over Pollard. Tony Pollard. Okay. Yeah, Cook. I think Cook. I, I don't know. It's same tier for me with Pollard and Cook. So uh, coin flip. I I think I'm not moving one for the other. If I'm drafting, I'd probably draft Cook, both mostly for age, not not because I feel like he's how are we get better from player. James Cook to Josh Jacobs. Mm-hmm. How are we? Yeah. Right. Is that is that something that you're interested in? Sure. Yeah. I did. I'd, I'd, I'd send a, a here, but still competitor first. Uh, competitor first, and James Cook for Josh Jacobs. I, I don't think. even know if you got to do that right now. Yeah. I think general. I think you could go Cook in a two, and probably see if we can get the job. I think people are just down on Josh Jacobs in general. Mm-hmm. Um. So you know that that would be something that I'd be interested uh, in doing. Would Would Kenny Walker be somebody that you would swap Cook out for? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Can you three sticks? Can I get Kenneth Walker? Right. Yeah, for sure. Let me get Kenneth Walker. Okay. So I've I've worked up a little bit. Seems like you guys are all kind of there. Mani or or Cook? Mani. Mani. Huh? So let me get that safe. Mm-hmm. Let me get Mani. What are we doing? Yeah, I mean straight up. I think I think I think I'm going. Cook, uh, pr- probably Cook, but but I think that you can get plus on Mani, and I think I take Mani in that in that scenario. So yeah, plus is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Plus is good. We get big and tall, Monty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep it moving here. Um, let's go, Michael Pittman on on the next. Uh, you know, moves to make must buy sell hold skyrocketing. Um, <laughs> he's wide receiver eleven right now. Two hundred twenty one points per game, or two hundred twenty one points rather, seventeen points per game on a heater uh, right now. Uh, and you know, there was a little bit of a, a Corey shout out to Corey Main, who's been a ride or die with us for a long time. You know, he wanted to know if you were maybe trying to get off of Michael Pittman as a move to make right now or because of A-Rich. Are, are you worried about Pittman's production when A-Rich comes back where, you know, Minshew's, you know, a bit more of a Brett Farvian kind of style player, <laughs> um, for lack of a better term? You know, I bet Brett Favre has no problem cutting those Wranglers, Wranglers into jean shorts. I can tell you that. Oh yeah, or cheating uh, Wrangler jean shorts with some uh, some, some like cut it. up uh, some plaid like in the, in the pockets. You know, Larry the Cable Guy plaid uh, cut off too. Sure. You know, like oh yeah, yeah. So, what are your thoughts there? Is it, uh, is Pittman? Are you worried about Pittman? Is there a must something you do with Pittman right now? Because he seems like the ultimate hold for me. Because I can't, I don't, I can't imagine you can buy him right now because he's in fuego, as uh, Dan Patrick used mm-hmm. to say. Uh, what what are your thoughts? Maybe. Yeah, the ultimate hold, and and I think he's he's right there at. Um, I feel like he's Mike Evans coming in, right? Like I feel like he's a thousand yard Automatic. every year re- 
automatic receiver. Yeah. Like no matter the quarterback, I mean, Minshew targets the wide receivers quite a bit. So there, there may be some uptick, but I also don't think Minshew will put them in the best um, position on the field as, as a rich will, you know, and, and change the coverage that a rich will. Yeah, so, so I think there's so more to that. Yeah, with a rich. Exactly. Yeah. So, so I don't, for me, it's, it, I don't want to say it's a wash, but I, I think from a production perspective, it's probably a wash just from the quality of um, of target in that that you will get from Anthony Richardson. So, so yeah, he's definitely a hold. I mean, I, I would be you, buying him. I don't think there's any way the Colts let Pittman go, right? You got to, you got to, you got, you got your quarterback no. on a rookie deal. You got to spend for the one number one guy, right? Nobody thinks. I think so. Walking. Yeah, I mean, I think he's put up enough now where right. I, I don't see, I, I don't, I don't see why they wouldn't keep him around, and you know. Um, we did a million drafts last year and he was constantly in like the fifth round of a startup mm -hmm. super flex tight end premium foreman being a big Pittman uh, shouted his name out at every chance he could get. And it just uh, it seems like maybe a tear jumper into somebody that you feel pretty comfortable with going into this year. Like he, he has to maybe hop up into that fourth round this year. Um, you know, Devonta mm -hmm. Smith or Michael Pittman. Pittman. Oof. <laughs> you, could, you could get two years younger with Devonta Smith. I'm not mad at that. Okay. People sure. seem that a little down on Devonta Smith. I think they're probably in the same range. He's just mean, in a lull of the Eagles right now, and Hurts. I don't think is 100. percent He did all right though. He, he's been coming through. He gets he gets you a late touchdown. I mean, yeah. it, it is what it is with him. He's got another stud over there, but he's a stud in his own right, and he should have had a touchdown. I mean, that was like just fingertips away from having another big long touchdown. From and he Hurts. fumbled. And yep, and then it fumbled, which yeah, they all not fumbled. A good play. Yeah, it's a bad, bad game. But I mean, like, what's what's the move to make with Pittman here? Like, you, you trying to it's, use it's, him to tear up to no, another I, player? For me, I, I said ultimate hold. I don't, I don't. The move to like make don't was, sell Pittman. The move to make was well, were you worried about the production that you're getting from Pittman when Richardson comes back? So should, should you be you, moving should on? You should you pivot off of, right. right now? And, and I, I think I'm good. Like, if yeah, I, I'm not worried about Richardson. I'd swap. I'd swap Pittman right now for DK Metcalf if I could. Oh yeah, all day. Like or, or take, ra I'd, I'd rather have Pittman. I think I'd rather DK. How, what's a? I think you still get an extra year there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm Pittman. not sure what the years are. I'm not terribly I mean, worried with, about with DK's a, 25 a year, year and a half with receivers. Pittman but. is an unrestricted free agent next year, which you, you you said you know why wouldn't they bring him back? And I, you would think they would. Yeah, right? yeah, I, I can't do DK Metcalf there. I, I got to <laughs> I'm gonna stay with Pittman. Yeah, he needs to get his passy back. It seemed like less meltdown. Oh, Jesus. Seems like it, yeah. Dude, get his binky. That's funny. That's funny shit right there. Give him his passy back. He won't fucking melt down. He need to pacify DK. Yeah. Yeah, Pittman doesn't seem like he's ever had an issue with that, huh? Pittman's just cool, calm, collect. Even. Pittman's yeah. Evans to me, man. I, I, I know I like that's that. a, yeah, that's a, a weird, comp. weird, but it's just, he's, he's consistent. Nobody's, he's not sexy. Nobody's going to, you know, nobody's you know, respected his name. I, he's been right around fifth roundish and still hasn't really this last draft we did. Guess where he went? Fifth round. Five, six. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Right in the middle. We're doing one right, right now. In We're in the first round. So I'll be interested to see where Pittman goes because he is on a heater. This draft was probably three, four weeks ago. Uh, so it will be interesting, but I, I think Pittman's got to move up a little here. So, but I think you're, I think you nailed it. I think both in stats and kind of nobody being, I mean, there was a point where Mike Evans was, you know, hot in them streets being like a first, second yeah. round startup pick a long, long time ago, but a long time ago. Yeah. And his production's never changed, but he's right. still, it's still just, yeah. All right, let's keep it moving. I think this is another good one here. Kind of almost in the Michael Pittman vein. You got Kyron Williams here, which we've talked about him on the show. I think he's been a buy. I think he's been a sell. I think he's been a buy again. Um, right. I think he's one of those guys, much like a Rashad White, where depending on where you're at, he's a, a line rider. You, you could be buying. You could be selling. Um, I think there's a lot of people who don't believe in Kyron Williams that he will be the guy next year. I say, why the hell not? Um, he's been absolutely unreal. Um, he's RB 10 and missed four games. He's averaging 20.4 points per game. That's good for RB three. Um, you know, I saw the dynasty Zoltan guy talking shit about him that he was that not, not, maybe not necessarily talking shit, but just being like, Hey, he did most of his work against the Cardinals. And then the rest of the games haven't been great. Well, he just went out there against the Ravens and put up a really, really good performance. If you watch the game, um, wasn't his best, uh, statistical game per se, but I just don't think he got in the end zone. Um, uh, but Awesome receiver, good pass protector. He's cheap as hell. They seem the, the Rams. Why? Why? Why do they need to do anything different? 
I mean, they might draft another late round running back, but why, why do they need to do anything different? Why would they pay? Like they're already Todd Gurley scorn. Right. Keep Kyron in there. They, they when they missed him, they missed him on offense. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Well, Todd Gurley scorn would be why you worry about him because they're gonna. They probably right, but I'm saying like don't like, just maybe you bring in a late round guy, but you're not gonna pay a, a Josh Jacobs to come in here. I don't. You know what I mean? You know, I don't yeah. think you're worried about a, a high ticket free agent coming. There'll in There'll be and, competition for him, but it's probably not enough to knock him off the top spot. Right, and even if he okay, so he becomes you know uh, has somebody else who takes a little bit because Kyron is you can, you have no argument that Kyron's not being volume, 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 TD, TD, TD is, is, has been super strong for Kyron. But I mean, at this point you're going into the next season, just basically like, Hey, let's get another guy to just take some of this off of Kyron. Kyron's earned being the, the guy. It's not like he's just some Jamoke. He was a pretty high ranked prospect and then stuck at the combine. So there's no way he could be good. And here we are at late capital. Right. Well, that's, that's what led to the late capital though. Like he yeah. was, there was, he was, a lot of people's RB two three in that class until he went to the combine and looked like he had a boat anchor tied to him. Well, he doesn't look like he has a fucking boat anchor tied to him uh, when he's out there playing. He, he's he's making beautiful cuts and beautiful plays, and and the, the Rams are on the come up here. I just I don't think I think again it's it's a mostly a pretty strong hold. If you are in a rebuilding situation, yes, of course, and you can get the first for Kyron Williams right now, one way or another, do it. Um, sh- sure. Um, but other than that, I mean, how many, give me, give me 10 running backs. He's rather have than Kyron Williams. I could probably come up with 10. You can come up with 10 that are scoring 20 points a game. Probably. I don't think so. Cause we're, we're pretty much always in here talking about, there's like three that, that you want. And yeah. then, then, you know, then, then ET comes into there and then you got Josh Jacobs and then it's like, all right, well you want Saquon? I mean, yeah. I mean, I think you want Saquon over over Kyron, I think, at this point. But I mean, yeah. sure, it's it's not that far away from each other. I don't I don't think in, in you know, and I think in when you look at it, somebody's going to go. Yeah, of course, that's what I want. But I mean, why can't Kyron can't do this for another two, three years with Stafford and and Puka Javante Williams or Kyron? Well, see, now it gets interesting because... Oh, wait, wait, it wasn't interesting with Saquon? It's mean? certainly... I, I, I didn't mean it not... It's very interesting with Saquon. And yeah, yeah, I think if you could go to Saquon, I, th- I think that's fine. All day. Um, but... Uh, well, I think Saquon's like a different Saquon, talent. He's, he's been... <clears throat> Saquon has had different talents where Javante, in my opinion, is... They're the same age. Right. Young, you get uh, a lot younger. That's, that's more, more or less, that's what I was talking about with Saquon. Sure. You're getting an older player. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. But, but I feel like I have been slowly but surely getting back to being – well, not getting back. I guess getting on the train with uh, Kyron. Um, and I think I might be willing to pivot off Javante and go over to Kyron because I, I don't know. I, maybe – I don't know value-wise. Is, is Javante Williams, when I say that, does it feel like he should be higher than Kyron? Well, he we – I mean, again, we're citing another draft that we just did. Kyron was – 10 11 and now this was a few weeks ago probably Kyron still banged up and Javante is 6 6 I think yeah so look here this is, I can easily do 10 he's not a top 10 RB he is a top 4 RB that's right yeah so who name him I mean who you got CMC sure sure and we can exclude those top four or five like you well, can I'm just going down right, the list right. this is a list in front of me CMC, ETN, uh, Bijan, that's three. Uh, right. Josh Jacobs, sure. Therese Hall, Jameer uh-huh. Gibbs, Kenneth Walker, Devon A. Chain, Saquon Barkley. You know, Saquon's then, not that far removed. So now we're at eight and we're getting to be like, all right, well, here we are. Javante, you just mentioned Austin Eckler. I don't want Austin Eckler over Jonathan Kyron Williams. Taylor. Yeah, of course. So those would be the top three guys that you want. But it's it's not like we're right there, man. Like it's not, mm-hmm. there's not that many. And then I skipped over, you know, I skipped over Mixon, Rashad White. I don't want Mixon over Kyron Montgomery. Williams. I don't want Montgomery over Kyron Williams. Pacheco. I don't want Pacheco over Kyron Williams. James Cook. I don't want James Cook over Kyron Williams. H-N? Uh, he said H-N. I said I'll, H-N. I'll, yeah, of course, I'll take, I'll take H-N. 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 Yeah. Najee Harris. Najee. Give me, give me Kyron. Yeah. Ramondre. Probably Kyron. 
<laughs> but that's close. I could throw him in. I like Ramondre a and lot. Now there right? are no more running backs, so it's not that far away. So it's just, I guess that's really like the exercise that I went through. And it's like there's not that many running backs that you could pivot to. And look, if you can go up for some reason and get one of those guys, or if you're a rebuilder and you can get a first, like fuck, man, there, there's it's hard to get a first out there for Saquon in a lot of these leagues. So it's really not that you know, first would be like, hey, yeah, I'll give you a first, but anything plus the first for Saquon, it's like people are like, I don't know that I want to do that. And so that's, I guess that's kind of where that conversation is kind of coming from. Like Alvin Kamara. Yeah. You know, I guess maybe I want Alvin Kamara, but do, do, you know, that's a, that's a few years difference. And, and sure. Depends on the team could, structure. I mean, that, that's where you get into the, like some of these are like, I, it doesn't matter what my team is. I'd rather have X over, over Kyron. Right. But right. like, but, but when you start getting into, well, if my team is this or my team is that, that's where kind of, you know, where I look at. So what, one of the guys that came to my mind was Taji Spears. Mm-hmm. Like if I if I could trade out of Spears and go up to Kyron, would you do that? Yeah, sure. Because he's a hot name, right? Derrick yeah. Henry is leaving, you know that and that. And but I, I feel like Spears, value wise from a fantasy community, is probably a little bit higher than Kyron's, just right. just from a pure like name value um, perspective. And so I wonder, I wonder if that's something that you know, you know that you could pull. You know, right. could I could I send Spears in a second? So as a, as a Kyron owner here in a lot of leagues and, you know, a lot of them, what happened was you had Kyron and all of a sudden you became a very competitive team. So it's really hard to trade Kyron Williams away because there isn't that many other running backs that you want who can put right. up those kind of points. Does he get replaced? Is he Philip Lindsay? I don't think so. Like, I don't think he's just going to be like, hey, you should. as well. But I guess kind of just to close up shop here on Kyron, it was, yeah. you know, basically what I've been doing on any team that I'm not relative or relevant in rather You know, it's been, how can I get the first? Can I get a first? And if I can't get the first, can I get something like a two and like a Rashi Rice for, you know, can I get a a two and then an up and coming player like that? that, Those are the, me and uh, Jay Wayne, when uh, Kyron kind of first started, first time, first started kind of blowing up before he got in, we traded a two and Godwin, you know, that, you know, we got Godwin in a two, right? So that's. You know, th- those were, and now I don't know even like that's, you know, we were trying to get Godwin and, or uh, two and Ayuk. So, you know, I right. mean, now yeah, Ayuk has also stamped himself. Mm. So if we could swap those two, just Ayuk for Kyron, probably do that. Um, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that was that was kind of where we were. That was the first, I don't know, five, six games of the season um, where we were, you know. So that's kind of where it's hunting for a first for Kyron, I think, is, isn't a, the wrong move at all. Um, and trading off of Kyron, I don't think is necessarily the wrong move, but you know, it's okay to, to like, I don't just, I just don't really know why the Rams would be out there. Just, they'd have to, I feel like they'd really have to smash a late round home run on a running back to you know, come in and replace Kyron Williams. Like the Rams don't give a shit that Kyron was a fifth round. Like it's the same thing as Puka Nakua. Like we're, right. we're, we're, I'm not worried about them replacing Puka, and I don't think as as the season has worn on, I am less and less concerned about them replacing Kyron Williams. You know, yeah. Does he does he get a B to his? You he's know. only one hundred ninety four pounds, Casey. How can he be any good? <laughs> he's been awesome. So, all right, let's keep it moving. Next, yeah, let's hit let's hit JSN. That's a that's a that's a Seahawk there. High, high praise, high draft capital for both real life and fantasy. I think people are getting uncomfortable with with JSN. When is it going to happen? What's mm-hmm. the deal? Uh, are you going to comfort us or are you going to alarm us, Big D? I'm, I'm going to comfort you. I mean, I, I think that you know Seattle's had a plethora of of some some challenges with Geno injuries, with some offensive line things. Uh, JSN having a wrist broken wrist coming into the season, like in his last uh, his last five games. He's got had 20 uh, receptions, 32 targets, 221 yards. He hasn't had any touchdowns, but it, you know um, he could have had one. He could have had two in the in the last five um, in the last five games. And his stats overall, I mean, that's that's basically half of his production in just this last five games. Mm-hmm. So he's definitely turning it on. He's 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 looking better. I capital wise, draft capital wise, you, you I don't know. I I feel like in the very when we were talking about the draft to be uh, at during draft season, it was like JSN's probably a next year kind of talent, right? Like he might have some flashes this year, but I mean, Lockett was Lockett was is still in that Crush Seattle it. offense. Didn't like work at thirty one. Yeah, exactly. And and we were projecting um, a Seattle team that has um, struggled a little bit more offensively than they did last year. And so so for me, I mean, I, I, I like uh, all day. I'm I'm. 
JSN, if he came out in this next class, you know, we haven't done a super deep dive, but I, I would say he's probably in the top three wide receivers, wouldn't you? I mean, I probably, I might want neighbors over him. I, obviously, I would want, you know, uh, I'm not talking about Harrison Jr., but, but you know, like, I, I think I'd probably want JSN over Olave. I mean, uh, over uh, Adunze. I think I'd want him over um, I think uh, I'll, Keenan. Yeah, I think I'll take Adunze, and then after that, I'll take JSN. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got to. I don't think you have to. I've, I mean, not you know. Obviously, we we're, we're we're we haven't dove into the point of the season. We're still watching NFL heavy and diving into all that, and we're watching games, but we're not diving into game film on college players just yet. Yeah. So I, I I I was as I, as it stands now, I would take Rome just because uh, there's a there is a little bit of unknown and just he he's you know kind of a a, a big a big strong uh, maybe version of JSN. Um, yeah. So the move that you we're going to reset is pivot off JSN. I don't know that that's necessary. I don't. I don't think it's necessary. I think it's mostly hold. If I think if you could, I think any. Mm-hmm. No, I don't. I don't think. It, I don't think you're doing the wrong thing by re-rolling to somebody like a Dunze. But you know, there's not that many other guys in the class that I'd want to re-roll to. It just happens to be that there's an awesome three. There's like, a couple. I'll yeah. take. I'll take JSN over Ibuka. So that mid. Well, to late first, you're down to move for JSN. Yeah, I'll take. I'll probably take Penix over JSN. Uh, nobody's gonna like yeah. that. Penix is already bad. He can never be any good. You know, and, right. and you know, maybe uh, you get, might have to take Jaden Daniels over JSN. Well, if you're taking Penix, then you got to take Jaden Daniels. Maybe. Oh, too soon. Oh, consensus too soon. is oh, Jaden yeah, Daniels oh, yeah. all day. And I said, I said it on the last. Uh, <laughs> well, they didn't hear you. Rookie mock show that I said that you know you probably got to take. Jaden Daniels because of the rushing upside over, um, over Penix at this point, um, but I still got a lot of faith in Penix. I think he'll still be a first round. I, I think I'm still taking JSN over um, uh, Minnesota. Um, Addison, blanking on the name Addison. Yeah, I think I'm still taking JSN over Addison. Um, I know that Addison's kind of bowled out with. Um, Jefferson not being there for for a few weeks, and you know he's 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 looked looked pretty good, but I, I still feel like, you know, just from the cap of Justin Jefferson, I feel like JSN. I feel well. Let me rephrase it. I think JSN can outperform DK more than Addison can outperform Justin Jefferson. So I'm, I'm I'd probably make that pivot and and be be okay with that because I'm probably getting something plus at this point, yeah. right? Add, Addison's value is way higher than JSN at this point. So if I get you know JSN and a and something, whatever, and, and Addison, that'd be, that'd be a great pivot for me. Um, or I'd, I'd feel good about that. So, yeah, I, th- I think there's, I think, I think the move to make here is, is, is and then in a lot of these is, is there a move to make off of these? Are you worried, concerned, you know, a lot of that yeah. kind of stuff here. So not, terribly- well, he's more of a buy for me than a hold. I, I would say like, I mean, if I have him, I don't think I'm selling him, but I, I think I'd be a little bit more aggressive without going out and trying trying to snag him he's in he's in that category for me where i think his value is down far enough where i like the market and i, I yeah. would like to try to try to capitalize at and this I, point i think you stated it off the rip that he was he's banged up coming in and then you have dk and Lockett. your your offensive line got banged up uh gino wasn't quite as good as as you know he was off of last season but he's had parts and pieces of this season and uh, you know I, I i feel like i don't know well i don't know what dk's contract situation is but you know i i and Tyler Lockett, I, eventually, I think there's going to the little, DK's paid up, right? The the um, the C is going to part here at some point with JSN, and I think we're going to see an explosion. Um, but mm-hmm. I, I I don't know how much you expected from JSN. Did you just expect him to come in and just body Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf, who are perennially just awesome players? off the rip as a rookie with an injury like is that i just i, I didn't see that I, I think that was the expectation because of some of the hype right yeah. like he's the you know um who was it olave and and garrett wilson says you know he's the best player between the you know there was there was a lot of hype train going in on him but but i i think seattle is notorious for their rookies taking a little bit to to get going so i was you know, and what a, what a good play by them really like yeah. if you're not you know like you're, you're you got it you got your guy in the wings here who could be right your next mm-hmm. superstar and and yeah if you were expecting him to come out and ball out you know i think that was definitely a possibility but I think we all here were telling people you have to temper expectations at least for a year. And then yeah. looking at the contracts, 
Like it's a, there's a potential out with DK with 11.9 million dead, which is not to me a great out. No, with a le- almost 12 million dead, and then Tyler Lockett has got 19 dead if you want to cut him next year. So it could be another slow. You, you, and you look at the snap percentages; he's not even like getting all the snaps. You know, it's not like he's out there every play. They're right. very much slow rolling him, but you've seen some flashes and you knew it was going to take a minute. Jake Bobo. Bobo, you baby. You buy some, some JSN right now. And, you know, uh, hey, if you wanted to say, I, I think there's another one, just like Kyron, if you wanted to say, hey, I can still get good value for this guy and re-roll it into something something like a Dunze or something high up uh, sure. that, that's that's in the draft that or that's, that's in the league already that you know, I'm not going to be upset about that either. Um, but I, I still have faith in the player. It's just some patience and there was... You know, I had I had a couple of rebuilders who had a lot of capital and I got JSN on a couple of them. And it's like I I knew coming into this year that he was just going to basically sit on the bottom of my bench and yeah. just be like, Haha. you know, every once in a while you screw down to the bottom and be like, I forgot I had JSN. <laughs> yeah, to me, he was a taxi. He's a taxi squad guy. You yeah. know, like, I mean, he was probably a little bit higher than a taxi squad, but on a on a team that I had some decent capital and I was competing, he, he probably wasn't going to crack my lineup. Right. So, right. you know. All right, let's get to the last one here, and we'll wrap it up. Let's go Bryce Young. Uh, I think this is kind of a little bit of a fun. Is there is there a window to sneak in here on Bryce Young, and are you interested? Because it's just like, I just don't even know how you can evaluate this guy. If you're watching <laughs> any of these games, it is a fucking bummer. Like, it you know, really is, it's yeah. there. there's everything is going wrong for this guy. You know, if you would have put C.J. Stroud in this situation, I'm not saying it wouldn't look a little better. Uh, but I don't know how much better it would have won and how many wins you would have gotten out of it. And it's just like, he's he's just, there's no offensive line play. I don't think Mingo's a bad player, but it wasn't probably the guy that they need right now. Um, you know, he, he's had some some decent targets and, and 10 points the two games before this last one and could have had over 10 in this game with Mingo, but he, he's not your, your, your guy to... to come right in and be your dog number one with your brand new quarterback you know that guy was there already um and you got rid of him uh yep. so you're just in a pickle here you got an old adam thielen which i don't think is the worst for some of the younger guys on the team but you know who the hell else do you have uh that and, and just a vanilla scheme uh, your offensive line has just gotten worse Everything and and then on top of that, it's like who you, who wants to come in there and be the coach to coach this up? You're not. I mean, you're not. You're not a peacock. You're not attracting any of the, uh, you know, the the sexy mates there. You're 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 just you got and you get any, and you don't even have a first round pick. No. Like, what a bummer! It just it's, yeah, and that and your first round pick is going to be like Marvin Harrison or Caleb Williams, right? Well, how much fun would that be to get Marvin Harrison Jr. with Bryce Young right now, you know? Well, they yeah, and they're going to have to pay extra that. for would... free agents, I think, at this point, right? Like, they're going to have to pay the luxury tax of being mm-hmm. a shitty you have to team. Play the, and, do the Jags thing where you pay mm-hmm. a lot to get people to Pay a lot there. to get, you know, Christian Kirk and, um, you know, key players like that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 my concern with Bryce <clears throat> is he looks like he's playing scared. Uh, which I don't blame him at all. I don't, I don't blame him one bit. Like anybody who sits here, he's a professional quarterback and he shouldn't, he shouldn't be looking over his shoulder. Dude, if you get hit as much as, I mean, only Sam Howell has been hit more sacked more than Bryce young. And Bryce young has like a hundred less pass attempts than, or, you know, uh, passing attempts than, than, um, than how does, um, uh, Washington, the commanders also have um, Eric the Enemy, who actually does some scheming. I, <laughs> right. I, I swear to God, the first eight games, watching, trying to watch a little bit of film on on Carolina, it was like you, like I am saying, oh, this is going to be a run. Oh, this is going to be a pass. If I can say that, I guarantee you that a defensive coordinator knows exactly what's going to happen because they they did no motion. They did. Yeah. You you said it at the top. You said vanilla. I, I won't go too far into it, but it just drives me nuts every single time. So so I, I don't think I'm out. I'm running out to buy Bryce uh, thinking, well, you know, he, he's going to be great. But I but I think that there's a, there's going to come a point where value wise, I just don't I don't see why you wouldn't go out and buy him. Like, yeah, you know, I, I, I think like if I could send a second, you know, e- even if it's a higher second, like I, I think I would do that at this point. Like, I don't think that somebody would do that. I think that, that he's a hold, 
old in general for if you if you actually draft and, and did the sunk sunk cost fallacy uh, mm -hmm. brain going on. You know, I, I don't think that anyone's getting out of him for a second, but uh, he's probably at this point, if I'm if I'm trying to get him, he's going to be one of those add on pieces. Right. He's going to be a, yeah. you know, a, a pivot piece um, uh, in the off season. you know, like um, we talked about Herbert. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of capital there. If you were to, to get off Herbert and, and Bryce Young was part of the package, you know, I, I don't know if I would do that. You know, I'd have to, <laughs> to have think to about it. And, and the like, there. Mm -hmm. there, there'd have to be a lot of blue chips, uh, you know, coming, coming down, but, but, you know, maybe Herbert was May in that deal. And, yeah. you know, I'd have to, yeah, get you'd have to get some first, you'd have to get, yeah. yeah, you'd have to get a lot of pieces there, but, but I, I, I don't think he's, um, for, for me, he's 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 not, you know, he's not one of these one and done like or or, or two or three year kind of kind of players. I, I think that next year could be a struggle depending on what they do. Um, but but I, I don't know, man. I, I how much can you pay I, T I, Higgins to come down there? Yeah, that would that would solve a lot of issues. I think. Um, I mean, how much? How can you? You don't have a first, but I think they have a couple extra picks in the middle. I didn't look at their look up their picks, but. They might have some extra picks in there somewhere, um, and, and you know, you just you don't you're not good at tight end. You you paid Miles Sanders, and that was terrible. Chuba's mm -hmm. you know your RBs are okay. Like Chuba and Miles aren't the worst. Like you're you're probably okay there to not have to do anything because you're you're not really a competitor at this point. But it's like, you know, I guess you can spend that second on a on a wide receiver in the draft, you, or do you spend it on an offensive lineman? You know, and you just you got yeah. so many issues and you know I, I just like you said i think there comes a point where i'm not out out on bryce i, I think i saw a, one of the uh graphs today about his his accuracy and in, in basically not being able to throw to open receivers but still being accurate with some of the passes is is, is pretty good because they're just not getting open like they're just and they're right. just the scheme is is not working and the protection isn't there a guy's running for his like this this last game against uh New Orleans here. He had New some Orleans. fucking good runs, man. He's yeah. always been a good scrambler. Um, so and I they're think, not calling that. <laughs> I, I <laughs> they they haven't really called that on the. What's the move right. you're making here? I think you're on to something with saying that that there's you know there's going to come a point where I think it's going to get so low um, where I, I'd be interested in in acquiring Bryce Young. But I think you're right where it's not. I don't know that there's ever going to be the singular piece in the deal that I'm trying to acquire. Um, yeah, there would have to be, uh, you know, I, 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 Sam Howell or Bryce Young. Bryce Young. I think you got to go Bryce Young. Sticking with Bryce. Yeah, I don't think you have to go. I think there's a lot of there's a large argument for Sam Howell, but I think I would go um, Bryce Young. <clears throat> It's just pivot, because I feel like pivot or there's not the pivot is the question. Do you do you get out like you said, even though you sunk a lot in and you sunk like could you if you could get out for a two, would you just get out for a two? You you, you were kind of saying no, Big D, you're gonna stick it. Yeah, I I'm not getting out for a two. I'm I'm I'd rather just write it at this point. Which, yeah, I'd buy for a two. You'd buy for a two. Yeah, Bo Nix. Sure, Bo Nix or or yeah or I'll take Bryce, Bryce Young. Young. You'll take I Bryce. can't answer that. What's that? You're not I can't answer, answer that. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a duck. I can't answer yeah. that. I, I have too much bias. Um, they stink. Kenny Pickett or Bryce Young? I think I'd go Bryce Young. Yeah, I think you got to go Bryce Young. Yeah, that hurts my heart. It could be a mistake, but it, I, I just, I don't know. I, I, I've seen enough. I've seen enough from Bryce Young when he has, you know, more than a second and a half to kind of set his feet that the, the question really is is do you get does he get to the point where there's no confidence left and if, if you do another year of where you're at right now mm -hmm. and it and it just by the time you get into a third year where things might be able to turn around is it just is he just so beaten and battered and bruised and confidence is rattled that it's just you know you just need some positivity in the next last couple of games here and the next yeah. into the next season and i just feel like you get too far down that road and you're in a, you know, hell, at least Mac Jones had a decent rookie year, you know, and yep. then it's just been two years of, you know, where his he's doesn't even look like the same quarterback. So, you know, I just I'm scared we're getting down that road there. 
Um, that's very true. Yeah. And that's part of my concern with them as well. It's just, I think that they can add pieces. I think that they can do that. But, but my concern is, uh, the PTSD of, of this, this year, like, you know, how, how much is there? Um, one of the, how about love, love or Bryce Young? I'll take Jordan love. Yeah. You don't like that big D, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't like it, but I'm, I, I completely understand it. I saw some graph uh, where <clears throat> basically like Jordan Love's having the same season that uh, Aaron Rodgers had his first yeah, year. Yeah, well, they were showing that in the broadcast. It feels like maybe the move is like to d- do what you can to maybe try to pivot off to a quarterback that you trust a little bit more that's that's still not yeah. in, the, in the top tiers. Um, and it may come back to haunt you a little bit, but I, I think – you know, you're not you're not going to get up to you know say uh, you're certainly not going to get. I don't think you're getting up to you're not getting anywhere near like a Fields, even though there is some questions there with Bryce Young. So I think you got to go after the the Jordan Loves or like you know Russell Wilson, maybe Russell Kirk Kirk D Cousins coming off an injury, mm-hmm. older coming off an injury. Yeah. You know, may, maybe just playing with what you can do to to, to possibly pivot into. You know, I mean, I think I, I'd rather have. Bryce than Levis, right? Yeah. Danny Dimes, can we? Can Man. what? What can we do? You, you, what do you? What? What do you, you don't like it? I don't like Danny Dimes. <laughs> <laughs> and look at him; he can't say all these injury prone. And the Giants suck. Big D, I think. I think you know that would probably be, be Bryce Young for sure for you, huh? Yeah, I would pivot to Daniel Jones. See, yeah. I mean, right now there's you know we're probably talking about fourth, fifth round to which is the start 10th round. So it'll be interesting to see where those kind of, that, that may be a possibility. Do you know Smith? I'll take, I, I would stick with you. I'm sticking with Bryce. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you're kind of in Jake no Browning land. <laughs> Stafford. <laughs> Stafford. Young. Young. Yeah. I'll go to Stafford and roll let me the get dice. Stafford. <laughs> yeah. Let me get two, three years of Stafford. And there, that might be far enough down that maybe you could get something a little bit of shaky on top. So, all right, well, let's get out of here. We got five moves to make that are skyrocketing and buying, selling, holding, and touching, loving, and feeling. Um, a little journey. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, had some guys we want to talk about. Hope you enjoyed the conversation. If you did, like, subscribe, comment below, five star review. Follow us on the Twitters at the FF Dynasty. Get a shirt at Revelry Brew Company. The uh, Discord, uh, Patreon, $5 holla. Thinking about making maybe making a uh, free Discord, uh, mostly Whoa. so that we could have all of our. You know, if you want a roster review, join the Discord. Go in the roster review, put it in there. Might be the easiest way. But if you've been still listening, roster review on on YouTube. If you want it, we're going to be doing them all season long. It'll be one of the next shows you see is a roster review, kind of looking yep. into the future. Um, hashtag Dynasty Trades and and all the details and all the as many details as. So you're sick of it. Mm-hmm. More details so about it. Because it. it's just, you know, you can't just hit me with, I need as much context as possible. I need the to players you consider have. Is it Superflex or not? There's Is a lot of them. premium or right. not? How many teams are in the league? How, what's your draft picks? How many draft picks? Yeah. What, what do you have as terms right. of the draft? So right. all the context, please. Um, Big D, appreciate you. You stay, you stick it in there with that Danny Dimes. Don't let, don't let Jason, uh, you know, oh, yeah, disparage no. your guy's name. This is confirmation bias, baby. Still on Dimes, baby. 2024, that's the year. Two nickels, that's what you call him. Danny, two nickels, because two nickels. Ten panties. not make a dime. Ten panties. All right. Just wait till Danny Dimes is dropping dimes again. <laughs> Yeah, so we got James Cook, Pittman, Kyron, JSN, Bryce. Tell us in the comments, are you keeping them? Are you selling them? What are you doing with them? We, we want to know. If you made it this far, uh, we appreciate you. And uh, all right, boys, it's uh, it's that time. It's time to go see what Monday Night Football action happened for oh, us. I need so. 10 points. I need 10 more points from, like, Tyreek. And, is that Tyreek? Oh, Jalen Waddle, tackle him. <laughs> I got H.A., Tyreek. Derrick Henry playing, in the bro. Miami defense. I need 10 points. With eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. I don't oh, he came pray, back. But he came back. Oh. I'll get a bye into the, bo- into the playoffs if I can get this win here. I just I just got kicked out. I just got kicked out. Mm. Point, point nine points just knocked me out of the playoffs. Ooh. 
out of the it's playoffs. All good. So I'm just trying to get a buy. Oh, you greedy son of a bitch. Yeah, I need this buy. <laughs> I already locked my buys, brother. Dude, the that, buy this is, league I was is, trying is to get. <laughs> it's it is crucial. I don't like the buy. My guys get cold. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to keep playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll catch you next time. Peace. Peace.